G'day guys, Brody Brown here, coming to you from the uh, office in Fremantle on a Saturday. With the, I'm, I'm ready for takeoff. I got the the headset on. I don't even need to be wearing the headset, but you know, I just feel like I'm going, I'm, I'm going places. I feel like I'm going places. I feel like I'm flying somewhere. Got the aero theme, aeronautical theme happening. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, a conversation which kills me. Uh, it doesn't actually kill me, you know, because uh, I, th I think we've been very good with the Millionaire Mortgage Secrets book, our whole vibe, uh, everything that we talk about in our um, marketing material. We're not talking about interest rate. And the reason why we're not talking about interest rate is because, um, A, because it's a dumb conversation, if you ask me, dumb conversation because it's completely out of our control. I don't like talking about shit that's out of our control, my control. You know, what's happening in the property market in China? Don't know, all right? I want to be aware of it, can't control it. Um, I'll read about it, I don't talk about it because I just don't know enough about it, right? And um, same goes for the economy, same goes for inflation, same goes for employment, unemployment, interest rates. What's the RBA going to do in December? Don't know. Probably increase interest rates again. All right. So what can we control uh, that relates to um, the, I mean, let, let, let's, let's, let's ask ourselves a question. Why is an interest rate so important? An interest rate is so important because I feel uh, after you know, 22 years in um, property and finance, that the marketing that banks have put together in general is it's all about interest rate, interest rate, interest rate. It's all they talk about, and it's it's it, it, it drives me nuts because I think it's a bit of a um, it's it's like the big lie. It's like the big lie that no one wants to actually uh, you know understand. You know what I mean? Like people borrow money and they're like, oh man, I'm going to borrow $800,000 uh, and buy a house for, you know, one, one and a half million bucks or 1.2 million bucks or whatever. And uh, and I have to pay this much back. Let's just, you know, let's just borrow $800,000 on my little widget over here. Uh, let's do a, a normal term like everyone else on 30 years. So I want to borrow $800,000 uh, at 5% and my repayment is going to be 4677 bucks a month. This is how people think, all right? And it's about as far as or as deep as people want to think. And, and I think one of the reasons why is because it's, it's really easy for, for most of us to just, hey, look, all we need to understand is interest rate over here. And we just need to understand the repayment over here. So um, I'll just turn my little phone up over here. Um, I mean, that's pretty simple stuff, right? But if, you know, if you're like me, if you like the smart accountants that I work with, if you like uh, a chemical engineer that I spoke with yesterday, who's, you know, had, these guys got money, right? They've got money and um, they've got money because they, they do the math. And what um, b borrowing money and business is all about mathematics, right? It's all about numbers. It's, it's, it is the language of, of business. And um, where I'm getting to with this is that if, if we really want to talk about something meaning, meaningful that's in our control, let's talk about the total cost of borrowing. And let's work out, let's firstly accept that when we borrow money, if we want to get ahead, if we, if we want to create financial security, we must borrow money at some point, right? Generally speaking, unless you're Warren Buffett, who was buying companies that produce excess cash flow, and then he you know, used that to invest in other things and became a multi-billionaire, but that's a completely different story. Uh, so let's look at the total cost of borrowing. So uh, look, you come and see me and you're like, hey, Broads, um, I'm buying a place for a million bucks. I want to borrow 800,000. This is a typical loan size for us. I think our average is about 750,000. And you know, you you haven't read Millionaire Mortgage Secrets and you haven't quite got this whole total cost of borrowing concept yet. And you want to talk about the interest rate. And I'm probably going to say something like, um, you know, without being dismissive, I'm going to say, who gives a toss, all right? Um, and the reason I'm going to say that is because we can't control it. What we can do, this is kind of coming into you know one, one of our um, you know the modus operandi of our business, or one of those is putting our clients with lenders that offer always competitive interest rates. That's the vibe that we're going for, right? So we want to place our clients with lenders where we know that not just today, but over the long term, they're going to work really hard. Based on our years of experience, they're going to work really hard to keep those clients, right? And you know those banks. If you want to know who those banks are. That's why you come and see me. So I'm not, I'm not going to tell you on the video. But um, what we're hoping for is we're hoping for a, a, a competitive, long-term average interest rate. All right, and and that's it's incumbent on the client, the borrower, in order to you know to, to work with the bank and um, keep them keep them honest because they're a bank after all. 
okay? Um, you know, we can act as your advisor, but we can't hold your hand. We can't get on the phone um, and call the bank on your behalf and remind you, you know, that's kind of your responsibility. So coming back, always, we, we, we want to get you with a, a bank which is offering always competitive interest rates, right? So you borrowed $800,000 at a 5% interest rate and you're comfortable, all right? When I say you, I'm just talking generally speaking, right? So and you're comfortable with that, that level of repayment. Let's say that between you, your partner, whatever expenses, you actually have more like, uh, you know, $8,000 per month in free cash flow. So that's plenty enough to cover the mortgage repayment plus make some extra repayments as well, right? I'm not going to talk about extra repayments in this particular video. That's, that's another one. But what I want to talk about in particular is this number over here, the loan term. So if you ask me what the most critical number is uh, when you're borrowing money, is it's the, the time of, or, or debt time, right? The number of years that you're in debt for. You know, why is that so important? Because you have compound interest working for you uh, when, you, when you, you, you're saving money, right? So when you're putting you know, $1,000 into the bank and you have a 5% interest rate and that compounds year on year and then it grows steadily over time. When you're borrowing money on a, on a, you know, a set term, all right, we call it a term loan, you've got compound interest working against you. All right, and, that it, and, and it sucks, all right? And it sucks because it's, it's silent. Um, all of the interest is loaded up front when the principal is at its greatest amount. Uh, and you, you've got a, you, you know, the most um, powerful uh, financial force working against you when you're borrowing money, all right? So what you need to do is you need to borrow the money, except that you have to do that, then have a plan in place to repay that money as quickly as you possibly can. For the sake of this video, let's go a little bit extreme and let's um, keep that loan term out to 30 years. You're borrowing 800,000 over the term of 30 years at a 5% interest, average interest rate. You know, it's, and this comes back to how I started the video. Is it gonna be 5%? I don't know, nobody knows, all right? Could it be um, fewer years than 30? Yeah, you can make it that way by um, focusing on how much you're repaying into the loan. Anyway, so uh, over a 30 year term, uh, our total repayments are 546. So what we're talking about here, Matt, 1.546 million bucks. All right, so that's our repayments. I want to get this calculator up here and, and uh, freak you out. All right, so check this out. So let's work out the total interest cost. So we got uh, 1546 minus our initial principal amount, 800,000 equals 746,000. So we're paying we borrow $800,000 at an average of 5% over 30 years, we're going to repay $746,000. We're going to pay $746,000 in interest. It's crazy, all right? So let's let's work out what that amount of interest is as a percentage of the borrowed amount. So all I need to do is divide that by the initial principal. Times that by 100. So Everyone's focused on this number because the bank's telling them to focus on this number over here. 14 zillion calculators going on over here. So let me just expand that screen. So everyone's focused on this interest rate because that's what the banks are marketing at us. Haven't you noticed? All the billboards, all the ads, get a low interest rate, get a low interest rate, amazing low interest rate, great, a great rate, a great rate. It's the dumbest thing ever, right? So 5% interest rate, uh, sorry, the interest is actually 93.25%. And I've just did the math. So I said that if you borrow $800,000 over 30 years at a 5% annual interest rate, that your total interest cost is actually 93.25%. Right, so you, 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 you're giving back to the bank. This is how they make billions and billions, and do billions of dollars of profit at our expense is by hanging people out for 30 years. To continue this example, let's say that you borrow money and you've, you've, you've switched on, you've read the Millionaire Mortgage Secrets book, you've spoken to me, we've, we've, we've got you psyched up and pumped up on a plan, we've got you focused on uh, making some sacrifices in your life and not you know, giving all of your money to everyone else. So you're investing in yourself and you're thinking, right, I wanna make an extra you know, $1,500 per month um, repayment or two thousand dollars per month repayment, whatever the case may be, and um, you know you calculate it to be uh, a loan term of uh, eighteen years because you you feel that that's acceptable to you, right? So it should be based on the time in debt or debt time. So eighteen years, boom, 
total repayments of one two one four. So let's let's come over to the calculator. So we got um, one million three hundred fourteen. That's our initial principal. All right, so four hundred fourteen thousand dollars. Wow, big difference. Four hundred fourteen thousand uh, dollars. What are we doing here? Divided by you're paying fifty percent interest. I think from memory we we were on ninety three percent in that last example. Now we've halved that down to. You almost halved it down to 51% interest, total interest cost. All right, so instead of paying back an, an eye-watering amount of money over a 30-year term, you've, you've paid back you know, what I believe to be, it's kind of acceptable. It's kind of acceptable, all right? So 50% interest. Let's say that I really wanted to uh, do some little snippets and chuck these figures up. Let me do some work over here, guys. Just stay with me. So that's on a here we go. This is our thirty-year term. This is our eighteen-year uh, term. So let's go really aggressive. All right. And it does start, hey, I'm really sick. It, it does start to get a bit tight for most people unless you're earning you know, really good coin. 15-year loan term at 5%. Your total repayments are $1.138 million. Let's call it $1.139. All right, so let's clear this out. That's our principal. All right, divided by... to 100, 42% interest, All right? 338,000 you've repaid instead of 414. I mean, it's a big saving. It's a really big saving. Compare 30 years to 15 years. Um, what was the initial amount that we had? Something frightening. Uh, $746,000. All right, so let's clear that out. Let's work out the difference. 746. Minus three three eight. All right, uh, that math is good. If it's not, send me a comment. But hey, well, I mean, I'm crazy fluoro. Um, this reminds me of a few weeks back, but I can't tell you about that. So, so what's the difference in real dollar cost, which is what we should all be focused on? What's the real difference in dollar costs of paying a, a eight hundred thousand dollar loan back in fifteen years versus thirty years? It's four hundred eight thousand dollars. 408 grand and 15 years less of being in debt. So therefore after that 15, this is a whole another video, but after that initial 15 years, you have all that cash flow available that was being used to service a mortgage. You have all that cash flow, cash flow available to then invest in other things, whatever they might be. All right. So um, that is the figure that if you ask me, that's the figure that you should be focusing on. How quickly can I nail this debt? And I've just explained, I've just shown you the math. It doesn't take long. Uh, and we do this with most of, most of our clients. Uh, but, you know, in saying that, uh, I can give you all the knowledge. I can give you the advice. I can set you up, set you up with the right uh, products, the right lender, uh, the right structure. Uh, you know, we can talk about getting you with the right um, accounting taxation partners to make sure that, you know, whatever other things you've got going on in your life, you're well set up. But in the end, it, it, it is incumbent on you as the borrower to manage your finances in such a way that you have the capacity to repay the non-tax deductible debt in particular in as short a time as possible. And uh, that's the result, all right? It's a lot of money.